Okay. Risk management, risk assessment, risk analysis, uh, the management of the risks is a continuing and ongoing process. It has to take place all the time. It is not just one done. The uh, new technologies. I, I say that one of the great things about uh, security is uh, I figure it's got a lock. Everybody argues about which technology is changing the fastest. It doesn't matter what technology is changing the fastest. Any change in technology, any new technology, is uh, has a, a security implication to it. And so any, any change involved there um, means you have to address the new areas of risk with a new technology or a new application of an existing technology. Uh, right now, we're having a great furor over artificial intelligence. And uh, we've had the, uh, the deep fake technologies recently. Now it's ChatGPT, DALL-E, and, and various other uh, large uh, data set uh, pattern models. Uh, and, and the tools, the, the applications that people are, are putting them to. And they are tools. This is not true artificial intelligence and you know when we get true artificial intelligence if we ever get true artificial intelligence that will have new implications for it but um, it's always changing everything is always changing new technologies new companies new uh, uses for existing technologies the entire field of social media which uh, didn't even exist 15 years ago it really is only a specialized form of online database. And, and yet it has completely uh, redesigned how, how people react with each other, uh, certainly in terms of uh, how companies react with their clients, interact with their clients, how advertising happens, how information about clients and customers is obtained. Uh, through social media. Uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to be giving a presentation uh, to high school students on uh, careers in IT. And, and the person who has asked me to do it has asked me to address the dangers of social media for your own job search. You know, what, you know, these days companies are, uh, you know, when they look at you when they examine you when they do background checks part of that is going to your social media accounts finding out what you have said in the past what can they find out about them uh, you do you have the uh, same kind of uh, corporate culture do you fit their corporate culture um, you know all, all of these types of things uh, they're all uh, you know new uses of existing technologies and so but you know it's it's a change it is a risk that risk has to be assessed analyzed and managed and it has to be done on an ongoing basis so you know any changes in technology uh, again one of the presentations that I give at conferences is on the security implications of quantum computing we don't have uh, an awful lot of quantum computers yet and yet we have uh, we have to assess the risk of even getting involved with it or not getting involved with it if we don't get involved with quantum computing are other companies going to eat our lunch? If we do get involved with quantum computing, how do we know we can trust the results that we get from these new technologies? So, uh, changes in, in the technology, changes in organizations. As the company grows, um, it's, uh, it's interesting. Recently, I've been involved with uh, a church uh, wanting to uh, take a look at, at how well uh, uh, they are 
working in in their community and asking all kinds of questions. And one of the questions that they signally did not ask is how big a church do we want? Because the size of the church means a change in the organizational structure and a change in the culture. Do you want to go there? Are you prepared for that change? That is something that they haven't asked and is a, a question that they should. You know, It's a change. There are risks. There are changes that have to be made. There are uh, issues of, of management, of analysis, of risk assessment that have to be dealt with that have to be addressed, that have to be examined. So we need to look at these types of considerations in regard to our company. How big do we want it to be? Uh, and, and what are the changes that are going to be going through there? I believe that I've mentioned a uh, company that uh, uh, I identified uh, their their problem was that they needed to change their corporate culture in order to grow. They had come to a certain size, and they were still operating at the startup level, and they needed to move to a small business model, and they didn't want to do that. But they needed to do that if they were going to grow, and they, they didn't want to do that. They had to sell it to a, a competitor. So we need to look at that, the changes in the organization itself. What external forces, what influences are there in society that may force changes on our operations, that may force changes on our technologies? Uh, are these uh, factors that we can address? Or, you know, are we going to be uh, having trouble with trying to deal with the, the external changes, the changes around us, the environmental changes uh, and influences. Uh, you know, are, are there changes in our risk posture because of that? How do we handle them? How do we manage them? How do we analyze and accommodate them? Uh, changes in market conditions. Recently, we have seen this in a huge way in regard to the pandemic. I, I mean, simply the, the phrase supply chain uh, was something that only logistics people really paid attention to uh, in years before. Now everybody know what that means. I, uh, I uh, remember uh, uh, going to a company and uh, ordering something and, and uh, they were making excuses and I just said, you know, simply say supply chain. Everybody knows what that means these days. So, you know, we have to address all of these issues when we are dealing with, uh, with risk management. And, and certainly, you know, that the, the market conditions changed absolutely drastically. Uh, the, um, the labor market conditions changed drastically with regard to the pandemic. Uh, the fact that we now have people wanting to work from home, not being willing to work for you if you demand that people uh, show up in the office these days. Um, you have to make more accommodations uh, for people. And, and certainly companies... Uh, uh, that are in the service industry, restaurants, uh, those sorts of things where it's not feasible to have people uh, work in that, at, at least not yet, although with robotics, who knows, that, that may come soon. But um, right now, uh, if you are demanding that people work for you, even in the service industry, on site, that means you have a problem getting workers. That is a change in the market conditions in terms of the labor market. So all of these areas, uh, you know, it, we have to change our risk management all the time to address the changes that happen all around us.